Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy D Lord and welcome to episode number two of our Philadelphia 76ers My League series. Now before the season gets started, I wanted to go ahead and make a couple of roster moves to try to better this team and try to compete for a playoff spot right away. So the first thing I wanted to do is I wanted to get another point guard. Now I know Tony Roten is a good point guard, however, I prefer Jordan Clarkson. So I wanted to go ahead and try to get Jordan Clarkson and I did just that so we end up moving Tony Roten and we're going to move Jeremy Grant in a trade for Jordan Clarkson and then Ryan Kelly who is not going to play that much on our team but we just need him to fill out the roster so we send this trade over to LA and they do accept the offer so Jordan Clarkson is now a member of the Philadelphia 76ers now for the second move of the day I know in real life the Sixers released Gerald Wallace but I wanted to see what trades I could get for him instead of just releasing him to free agency so I looked and to my surprise the Utah Jazz are offering Derek Favors for Gerald Wallace now I know this is a salary cap dump move for the Utah Jazz but we have a lot of money in Philly so we decided to go ahead and make this move so we're going to send Gerald Wallace for Derek Favors as a three-year deal but now we have options so now all those big men that we have in Philly we're going to try to move them and this is the perfect target for us Derek Rose and the Chicago Bulls clearly have him on the block so you see the organizational role on the player card he is on the block and everything that's going on with Derek Rose plus his injury prone status he cannot stay healthy so we decided to go ahead and try to capitalize and take the chance on Derrick Rose so we send them Nerlens Noel, Isaiah Cannon and then Hollis Thompson for Taz Gibson and Derrick Rose and I feel like this is going to be a great move for us as long as Derrick Rose can stay healthy so that is the caveat about this trade he does have those bad knees in the game so as long as he can stay healthy I think we could be fine so we do have Jordan Clarkson on the team just in case any type of injury goes down Clarkson can step in and play the point guard position so you're looking at our roster our roster I think is improved before it was, um, before any of these um, moves were made. But now this is going to be our starting five. Derrick Rose at the point. Jordan Clarkson is going to play shooting guard for us. We're going to have Covington coming off at the three spot. Derrick Favors and then Jaleel Okafor with um, Embiid coming off the bench playing the six man role. And then obviously Taj Gibson, um, Stalskis is going to play as well. And then from the rest of our players, Really not that many more minutes going around everybody. Carl Landry's going to get 16 minutes off the bench. We're going to have um, Kendall Marshall. He's going to get some playing time as well. And besides that, that's about it. Pierre Jackson and all the rest of the boys are not going to get much playing time. But I feel like this is going to put us in the right direction. I feel like we could at least compete with some of the teams in the Eastern Conference. We do have three first-round picks um, regardless of anything that happens. So... We're still looking good for the future, and if Derrick Rose doesn't pan out, I could possibly try to trade him, trade him or Derrick Favors to get um, other players in free agency if we run out of cap space. But that's it for this episode. I want you guys to leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the roster moves that we made. Do you think they're for the worse or the better? Let me know in the comment section below, and leave this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. It's your boy D Lord. I'm gonna see y'all next time. Peace.